Once upon a time, the sun fell in love with the moon. The two, star-crossed, could never be together. One would always be apart, always missing the other, only catching small glimpses through time and space. Over the eons, the sun withered. She longed to be with her love. She asked the great gods and goddesses of the past what she could do to prove herself worthy to leave her post and be with her beloved. The moon, however, had gone to the great goddesses and gods first, and was already fulfilling out her agreement to raise twelve witches of the zodiac to take over her post so that she may come to be with the sun for time and all eternity. Upon hearing the news, the sun was overjoyed. She looked upon the moon from above and saw how happy she was, laughing and playing with her earthly daughters. The sun yearned for a life with her love. The old ones, after much counsel, came to an agreement. The sun couldn't just leave forever. Their home planet, which they all served, needed the sun's magic light and power to survive. However, there was but one other way to fuel the power of the sun. It would take the power of several earthly beings. The sun was so crucial to the survival of their solar system, it would take significantly more than just 12 witches. The sun agreed to begin an entire successful lineage made of 12 generations, one for each constellation of the zodiac. The most exciting part? The sun would begin this journey with her beloved. Their forces combined would burn brighter than any star in the universe. Hey there, basic witches. Chloe here, also known as Coffee. If you are new to my channel, hello. We love talking about all things Sims and astrology here. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. I think everybody is in for a really special treat today. We are starting a brand new series that is basically just a Zodiac legacy challenge, which there is an original challenge that was designed by someone else. It is linked on my blog down below where you will be able to also find all of the rules to this specific challenge now. Quick note in here, we have this series slightly based off of my other series, the Lunar Zodiac Challenge, but you do not have to have watched that challenge or continue watching it to know anything about this one. They are a little bit in the same universe, but if you want to know more specifically about that and the characters, I have a cast video that went up earlier today with this one. I will link it in the cards as well as down below for you. And if you want to watch Lunar Zodiac, obviously, please do. That will also be linked down below and in the cards for you. But without further ado, let's just jump into this new series because I can't wait to share with you. So here we are with Sunny Sunville and her wife Luna is actually here with us as well. And we are going to start off with traditional legacy rules, which is basically you move into a really large lot, you decrease your funds to a certain amount, and then you have to kind of build from small, humble beginnings. Basically, we start from the bottom and then we're going to get there instead of now we're here because we're obviously not there. We're living in like super poverty but that's fine. So the first thing I want to do is actually take our 2000 simoleons that we have left over and build a shack. Maybe it's love shack. that obviously I wasted like most of our money building a box but you know what look how adorable this house is I would live in this box I think it's cute but the first thing we are gonna go and do because we need it is we're actually gonna take Luna the wifey the wifey boo here and we are gonna get her a job because that is not against the rules in any way shape or form and girl we need the money bad. So uh, we are, we're going to get ourselves a nice, a nice job. J double O B J double. Wait, that'd be Jube. J double O B. 
<laughs> what is wrong with me? I can't even make songs appropriately. I'm a mess. But okay, I think because if you guys have watched my Lunar Zodiac challenge, you know that Luna in my series is a Cancer or a Moon Child. And therefore, I feel like she would need a really gentle job. So I feel like I would actually make her either a writer. What? I have a tarot card reader thing in here. Learn the mystery of tarot cards from what the cards are, how to lay them out, and from a reading. Okay, but what do you have to do with that? Oh, it's unpaid? What? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Girl, we're trying to get out of our box. We don't got time for that free stuff. Uh-uh. So I would say we could either go down a path of culinary or writing. And I think I'm leaning more towards writing just because it's easier. And technically, Sunny is going to be really our main focus in the beginning of this series. So I feel like we're just going to go writer with it. And honestly, that may not be like the most exciting choice for them, but it's going to work. So before we do anything, I'm going to see if there's anything around this lot that we can have Luna or Sunny dig up and sell for cash because we have nothing. We can't even feed ourselves or pee except for outside. Girl, get that. Dude, look how like fantastic and stylish she looks. She's like, whatever. I'm hot. I'm going fishing in my heels. Yes, you are, honey. You're going out in those red high heels. So we did catch a cichlid, I think is how you say that. Uh, I guess we're going to sell that for 11 simoleons. This is fine. I mean, hey, 11 simoleons is definitely more than we had. So we exhausted the fishing spot, but we've made now $141 or simoleons rather. So let's actually see what we can buy with that. Here's hoping that I can actually get an ice chest or something. I don't even know how much those are. I've attempted legacies before, but we're going to finish this one this time. Okay, but tell me how a cooler is 145 simoleons. I have a cooler that is exquisite, that is way nice. It's on wheels. It's the best. I got that sucker for like 30 bucks and I technically use it for food storage now because it's airtight. But what? So I did do a smart thing and I actually closed the house in a little bit just for the sheer fact that it gave us a little bit more space or not more space. It gave us less space, but it gave us a little bit more simoleons and I Oh, nope. Okay. I was like, I think I could do it one more time. Nope. Sure can't. Uh, and I think if I go one this way, it's going to make the house a little uneven, but it's going to give us more money back from that window. And it also like, it's just good. I mean, technically we didn't really need the shelter. It's fine, but we needed the money more the simoleons more so I'm not gonna sit here and fault myself for it uh, but we do need to snag just an ice chest real quick I call them ice chests but really I think it's a cooler and we are gonna get the one that is more cost effective and can we afford a toilet that is the real question can they even go to the bathroom outside like is that a thing I think I have to put this inside but now I don't know if I have anywhere to put it <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our bedroom slash pee room. Uh, it's it's good. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with them outside of work is we're actually gonna have them come in here and get their woohoo on, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I do have the ability for Luna to actually impregnate Sunny. And that is something I really wanted to do in my series was I wanted gender to not matter for anybody playing. I wanted you guys to feel like you could make whatever decisions you wanted gender wise. So for my challenge, because I did choose to use two female Sims, I did go in into game. It's a free update that came in the game. Uh, I did go ahead and choose to have Luna able to impregnate Sunny. So that's what we're going to be aiming for. Aries actually does start the astrological year. A lot of people think it's Capricorn because Capricorn is in January, but the astrological year actually starts with Aries. And that's why we always start with Aries in my series. And uh, then we kind of go through monthly who is the next astrological sign coming up, which you can see all of that stuff on the cozykale.com link that I will leave down below where all of the rules are should you want to do the challenge for yourself. All right, Sunny is sitting down moment of truth please let us have a baby please let us have a baby please you know what I feel like when I put that energy that desperate 
See, look what I did there. I put that desperation, that debt. Whoa, that girl got a booty though. I put that desperate energy out there and look what ha happened. Man, I just tried again and it failed that time too. Dude, this girl is a hot mess. Uh, it is Monday evening in game and she just got back from work, made 200 simoleons, which we really desperately needed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop into build mode and just see what we can get. We really do need a bookshelf. We need it for Luna so she can actually get better money at work. So we're just going to pop this outside because I don't think there's anywhere I can put it in here where it won't be in the way. Actually, can I put it right here? I think I can. Okay, we'll put it there. And then we also really need a shower or a bath. And I don't actually know that we can afford it right now, but we gonna try. And then hopefully after we get everybody relaxed, we can try for a baby again. Uh, in some of the time that I've had just I guess in my off time here in game I did try to get them pregnant again and it didn't work so I'm really hoping the game is not bugged because that would actually be a really big problem and I also want to see if we can afford like a small trash can because that's something else we don't have and oh look we can get a starlit child waste basket works for me we just needed something girl Ain't nobody invited your vampire booty over to this house. Like, you look like a sweet girl. I see that you're positive intentioned, but we just don't really want any right now. This, I feel like in the opening part of a legacy challenge, you're not trying to make no friends. You're not trying to make like play date buddies for your future kids. You're either trying to find a mate or you are just grinding. So girl, get out. Okay, come on, please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. Please, 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 please. You're in a good mood. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, the Aries child is coming. Oh, oh yes. Oh, is she gonna go share the news with her wifey? Ugh, I'm so happy. I hope it's not twins. Please don't be twins for the love of God. For the love of goddess, do not be twins. For the love of my moon goddess, do not be twins. Oh no, you guys. Daddy Vladdy is here. Dude. She's like super pregnant. Oh no, he's trying to get Luna. Oh my gosh. And now she needs to pee and you're in her house and you're pissing her off. Oh, he had to go outside. No, 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 no. Oh. So because we shooed him out because we had to pee, did he like stop? Girl, go back to sleep. <laughs> go back to bed. We ain't got time for this. Daddy Vladdy, get out of here. Nobody invited you. Get out of my house. <laughs> he's just like, hey, whatever. It's raining. It's cold. So we have Sunny out here, pregnant, in the rain, trying to catch catch some fish for her family, quite literally. What is this? Is that a book? Oh, she has a book. Girl, that ain't... Oh, you could sell books for a dollar? All right, cool. I'm selling that. Girl, give me that simoleon. Uh, I'm hoping she's going to catch something good. Luna, I know, has to leave for work like any time now. So we'll have to wait and see what. Oh, did she just get something else weird? What is this? Oh, a kitchen. We don't even have a kitchen, hunty. It was 90 simoleons, though. I will take that to the bank. <laughs> so we were fishing in the rain and then Sunny was like, absolutely not, honey. I'm not trying to die out here. Uh, we did catch quite a few fish. We got one that was worth like 150 simoleons. I did something so stupid though earlier. I went to repair the toilet and I accidentally replaced it and spent 125 simoleons. So that was real dumb. Ooh, Luna, you looking rough from work today. Let's see what we got. Luna has been promoted to blogger queen we stand she will now make an additional seven dollars per hour for a grand total of 32 per hour she has also received the following bonus 407 simoleons milton word processor what is that her next shift is friday at 11 a.m 32 dollars an hour three days of vacation awesome so we're almost to a thousand simoleons i think really what we should probably do is consider adding in a baby room even if it's this big we need to add something in here or either that well i guess the kid will be in a bassinet for a few days so like maybe not <laughs>
It is early Friday morning and Sunny is actually in labor. We spent um, most of the Thursday just kind of hanging out around the house. Luna had the day off, so there was some money made because we claimed a meteor that had dropped or something like lightning hit and we got something. So we got some money, which is good, but oh, thank God almighty goddess um it's a girl i really so i personally am going with the rules that i'm gonna have my 12 be girls we're still gonna have boy sons in the challenge but i'm going with traditional legacy rules where i'm having only females continue the descending line so i'm really grateful because i really only wanted one baby with aries so I actually already have a name picked out for this and we are going to name her Maya and we are going to change this name to Sunville because that is actually the name but we have Maya Sunville oh my gosh this is the best <sighs> yeah oh <clears throat> Luna honey you're a little you're a little late in the freak out you're a little late in the in the the parent panic we're Luna Honey, <laughs> go inside before you die. So I'm really happy that we got to bring Maya into the picture today. If you want to follow along with this series, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you really want more coffee slash Chloe in your life, you can follow me all around the web. I have two podcasts, a secondary YouTube channel, a blog that is all Sims related, veganism, witchy. And I also do tarot card readings and natal chart readings on the side. So please check out all the links down below. And also this series is in collaboration with Tiny Blue Witch. So make sure she is going to be streaming the series today. I will drop her link down below as well. You do not want to miss out on her amazing, incredible content. She'll probably get farther along than I did today just because she'll be streaming and not creating episodes. But anyways, I love this so much. Thank you again so much for joining me for this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT and I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye you guys.